Breaking Talent, Break London. Break London TV. Today we're at the University of East London, which is my university, and the USA team are currently practicing here. We're at a media event, so we're going to see who we can chat to. Hopefully, we'll be able to chat to Kobe, Tyson, anyone we can chat to. We're going to go and see who we can find. Let liberty and justice ring for all. Let your dreams stand tall. Break London, we're all about inspiring young people. If you were going to pick your top heroes, who would they be and why? My top who? Heroes. Oh, heroes. Who I look up to? Uh, I was a big fan of uh, Garfield, the cartoon. I'm just joking. Uh, my, my, I was a big fan of Michael Jordan growing up. Uh, I was a big fan of uh, Michael Johnson. Uh, they were great athletes, but. They also spoke well. Um, they handled themselves really well on and off the field of play. And um, it's, they just seem like genuine, genuinely good people. And, and those are the type of people you want to look up to and uh, have an influence on you growing up. Do you feel any pressure? Because obviously you're a massive role model to all those people out there. How do you deal with that? Do you, or are you always on form to kind of be the role model? Well, you just try to minimize your mistakes um, and just stay out of trouble. Uh, it's harder now, you know, just because of all the media coverage and things hit the wire so fast. Um, but you just have to try to think before you act and um, just try to be, try to be genuine. You're going to make some mistakes. No one's perfect, but you know, uh, try to make the best of every situation. Because we're all about legacy here in London, in East London, especially like after the Olympics, we want it all to be like up for the young people of East London. What would you expect in the USA if the Olympics were to be there for the young people? Well, it's always the, you know, the aftershock, the after effect um, when a big event goes on and you'll see an uprising of uh, young athletes aspiring to do well in the sports. So, you know, um, in the sport of basketball happened after the Dream Team in 1992, you just seen the whole world um, are really into the game of basketball and everyone's trying to catch up to the Americans. Have you enjoyed your time here? Yeah, I've had a good time. So it's been really good here. What do I enjoy most? Uh, just the scenery. And the shopping's amazing. I haven't had a chance to go shopping, but uh, you know, I've seen a lot of stores I will go to, and then uh, I plan on making a trip back just so I can go shopping. So, how long are you staying here in England for? Uh, we're here to the hopefully the 12th. You know, we, we're here for one goal, and that's to win the gold medal. So that's our focus, and then uh, maybe I'll come back after that. Because <laughs> um, obviously you're, the USA basketball team is like the favorite to win gold. How would you feel if you won silver? Uh, we, we don't accept uh, anything less than gold, and uh, that's our goal, so we're going to try to go out there and get it here. Gold, gold is on. I've, see, I've been seeing your uh, games, with one with Nigeria especially, and you were just on fire. Do you have any kind of team things you do before you go on, and like, or personal things that you do like, to kind of gear yourself up? Uh, we have a really good uh, group of guys on our team, and we get along with each other really well. Um, Carmelo Anthony is the DJ, so he, he, he plays the music for us to get us in the mood, and the music changes all the time. Uh, so sometimes it's rap, and uh, some games is like old school music, uh, it can be like 80s R&B, like Michael Jackson's one game. So it just depends on, it depends on the vibe, and he does a good job of gauging our vibe and playing certain music, and uh, it's, like a, it's like a little disco or a little a party when we're in there. But we're just really focused in and we listen to music, bobbing our heads and getting ready to play. Do you, because um, obviously, yeah, you have really good dynamic. Is there like the mother of the team, the joker, the one who takes it dead serious, or you just? Uh, it's funny because we have a lot of funny guys, uh, so we kind of like we're light, um, laid back. Uh, but everyone has their own type of humor, 
you know, like Carmelo is uh, funny because he's, his timing is really funny. So he just says like the right thing at the right time and it's really funny. It's not like what he said was funny, it's just a good timing. Uh, LeBron is funny because he's kind of lively. Uh, I'm more dry humor. So uh, I'm more, the, I'm the guy that's correcting somebody when they don't use the proper grammar. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm sarcastic, so it takes the guys a couple seconds to get it. So we just all have fun. How do you feel to be like in London, you know, being the favorites? Do you feel any pressure about it? No, I don't feel any pressure. I mean, it's, it's um, you know, the pressure is a part of what we do. So you just got to go out there and perform, do your job and see what happens. What would you say for the young people, like aspiring basketball players? Is there any advice you would give them and words of wisdom? Enjoy it. Have fun. I mean, it's really just about just playing and you're just working hard and enjoying what you do and then the results kind of come naturally. Um, as, as you're like quite hard in the game, what would you say to young aspiring basketball players? What advice would you give them? Well, I think just a simple fact of just, you know, just having belief and having faith um, that anything is possible, uh, especially when it comes to playing basketball. It, it don't happen overnight. Uh, it, it takes a lot of time. Uh, well, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a long time and there's still some things that I'm I'm able to try to learn. So. So, have you seen much of London so far? How like, how's it going? I haven't seen too much of it. I actually got to go to uh, you know swimming the other day. I've gotten out to eat a couple times. But other than that, I've just been uh, you know yeah training, uh, preparing, and really in the hotel room just resting. So you know hopefully uh, you know once we're done you know playing, hopefully we get a gold medal on August 12th. Then we'll have a time to see it. So yeah, like, how do you feel with like, all the pressure, especially like with Michael Phelps doing so well? Like, do you feel any added pressure with all of this? No, I mean we we want to you know give praise to all the Olympic athletes, uh, you know, especially on the American side. And uh, you know Michael Phelps did a, you know, has done a phenomenal job. Uh, and, and yeah, we're very. I mean, maybe the most you know decorated athlete uh, here. So he's really really done a phenomenal job. I'm very happy for him. But uh, you know, also we want to. Uh, we want to keep our focus as uh, as a team as well. And then, um, how do you feel? Because, what's your opinion on like the USA outfits being made in China? <laughs> I know Sorry. I know a lot of people have stuff to say about that that it should have been made in America. But uh, you know, I think the outfits look good, and uh, you know, that, as long as you look good, it feels good, and you know, we're on TV. Yeah, exactly. You get well, the colors you. right. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Is there anything you do before you go onto the onto the pitch? Do you do any kind of do you listen to anything special or do you kind of do a little weird thing with like the team or by yourself? Um, no, just try to uh, try to loosen up, try to um, you know make sure I'm focused on what we have to accomplish out there on the court. But um, try to stay loose. So probably listen to some music. So I'm here with Sam. Sam, tell me about your story. What's um, today uh, it was just amazing meeting all the athletes, uh, the USA team. I mean, this is a opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, meeting all these NBA players, uh, I just want to say thank you to Teresa who invited me here. And um, if it wasn't for UEL and Nasser, I, th I don't think I'll be here because uh, Nasser brought me up to play basketball and get involved with the sport. So. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, the organization and everyone who has supported me to play the basketball. Um, today, I just can't believe it. It's just amazing. Uh, I got to see Camilla Anthony. He's, he's putting up a show at the Olympics. Um, also, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you again to Teresa Edwards because she saw me a couple um, months ago at the opening uh, at the opening ceremony of this uh, place so uh, she got an interest in me and she wanted to, to get um, to look at me a bit more so after today she's just gonna be looking at me uh, looking at my progress in at the sport and everything yeah so if you're continuing to kind of like get further and further in this sport do you reckon you will go over to the USA to practice well I gotta work hard first on the court and off the court. My studies have gotta be high, uh, my game's gotta be high, and just try to get there. So where are you? Are you, are you around the local area or living in New York? Yeah. So what school are you? I go to Rokeby School. Mm -hmm. It's in Cunningham, and I live in Forest Gate. Yeah. What do your family think about your progress? Are they always shocked to see you? Uh, they're amazed and excited uh, about my future and everything that's going on but most of all just keep the academics on top and the basketball second then 
they'll be happy. So how are you going to progress from now, now this is all happening? Gonna go out and play harder mm-hmm. and harder and harder. I want to get to their stage. <laughs> yeah. So you're 12, which is pretty young. Is there any advice that you give to kind of your peers? I uh, just kids out there, just get involved with the sport and have fun because it's a great sport. Yeah. So how do you feel? Did you did you guys all play against the USA team then? No, no, no you didn't. You just spectated. Yeah. Yeah. And how did that all feel? It was amazing. They made it look easy. Did they really? Yeah. <laughs> did you get to chat to any of them? Did you? What's his name? No, I just said hi to them to Kobe. Did you shake his hand? Mm. But you just oh, so how do you feel like with all the Olympics going on in your local place? Like, how has it affected you all of you? It's an amazing experience for kids around the borough because they could get involved with the sport, and you just get them farther on. Yeah. So how are you guys going to do, like, what are you going to do for the rest of the Olympic Games? Are you still going to be, like, practising? What, what are you doing now? We're going to be practising, training hard. We're going to be training hard, um, preparing for our next season, as well as the USA team as well. Like. Are, you gonna be, are you coming back here to practise again with the USA team? Yeah. Ah, OK, so you're coming back. Um, so are you, all your aspirations is to do basketball professionally? Is that all your aims? So you want to be in the NBA when you're older? <laughs> so that was pretty amazing. It's always a bit of a scramble to get the questions. We got the questions in with some of the top guys. So they'll be here practicing in our hometown. But that's for me. You're watching Break London TV. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and see more from me on Break London. Breaking talent. Break London.